uh, it's always one page. To your right, you put your address. You start with your name, to your right, the address. Your name in cap in uppercase, in bold. Below it, you put the name of the workstation. But not caps lock, lowercase, but uh, bold. Below, you put the P box address of the address of that workstation. Then below, you put your contacts. Below, you put your email address. Then you skip a line. Then you put the date. That's on your right. That is your address. Then you come to your left of that paper. You put whom you're writing to. May, let me say to the human resource manager. That is in uppercase but bold. Then below you put the name of that company. Then you can put the address if need be. Then you skip a line. Then you write dear sir or madam. Never say dear sir, never say dear madam. Remember this is a formulator. Then if you know the sex of that recruiting, someone who's recruiting you, say dear sir or madam. Then below that you write RIE, application of the position of IT officer, or application of the position of records manager, or application of the position of Satisha, yeah, all in bold, bold and caps, uppercase. Then you skip a line, then you write your body. Some of you make a mistake, you write things that are, I don't know, I saw, uh, I saw this advert in the newspaper, I saw this somewhere else. No, 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 don't put Lugambo, go straight to the point. Write this statement that is really you be straight to the point, remove the irrelevant information. It is with great enthusiasm that I apply for the position of IT, full stop. For the position of citation, full stop, this, full stop. Then you continue. I hold a bachelor's degree in information systems from this university. Hence, attain knowledges and skills in, no, sorry, hence, attain knowledges and competencies in, then you will continue there. Yeah? I hold a bachelor's degree in statistics. I hold bachelor's degree in records management from this university. Hence, attaining knowledge and competences in. Now, from that statement in, what you're going to write next, you look at your transcript. Your transcript for IT, for records, for statisticians. You look, you, you choose five courses that you did in the whole of your entire study, years of study, that are relevant to that job that you're applying to. For example, this up, this cover letter was applying for IT job, IT officer. Let me read the statement. Hence, attain logic and skills in one in computer applications, comma, information systems analysis and design, comma, business statistics, comma, database systems design and manage and development, comma, uh, business intelligence and data warehousing. Full stop. So you do the same with those of uh, I of uh, records and what. Look at your what you studied, then you put around five to seven. Don't don't load the overload the the you have a letter. Then skip a line. That's the first paragraph. Then the next paragraph you write your experience. You begin like this. My experience as an IT officer at this company, or my experience as a, a statistician, or records officer at this, a records assistant at this, this and this are uh, this. You write around three of your current job experience, just the positions and the places. Uh, then you continue. Has given me my experience as an IT at this, uh, IT officer, system manager at this, at this, has given me an opportunity to develop technical expertise in now there, you go to your competences you wrote in your CV. Systems management, computer application, system development, network security, connectivity. You write around five of the best competences. That there, you write them in your application later or cover later. That are relevant to that job. Remember that, relevant to that job. Write there around five, full stop. Because in your CV, you have many competences but those relevant to that job you are applying to full stop then you continue with this paragraph therefore with this education background and work work experience coupled with my sense of organization coupled with my sense of organization uh, and detailed oriented approach 
to work makes me an ideal candidate for this kind of job full stop that is your second paragraph then you skip a line then you write i'd value the opportunity to join your team of professions where i could develop my skills further full stop you continue you continue come information refer to my cv full stop then you skip a line thank you for reviewing my cover letter and i'll hopefully wait for your response full stop skip a line then you write your sincere then you skip around two lines where you can sign then you write your name then below your name you write your current position then below you write your current workstation that is how your cv your cover letter should look like so i've handled those of m and e uh it statistics and records management so make sure that you, you put a comment and make sure you subscribe and share these links with all your friends so that we can help our friends to uh to really get be get guided in the in the employment field and also uh uh have their dream jobs thank you and enjoy your day